welcome back everybody so this will be the last episode for this series um, we have jumped planets we're at Medzev and the last episode the Talos took a heavy heavy bit of damage now I had to change it a bunch because um, we lost three of our four double heat sinks in that mech and we didn't have any more double heat sinks to replace them with not unless I rip them out of other mechs and do a bunch of switching around and changing and all that kind of stuff so Rather than do that, I thought we'd uh, give the mech a, uh, a heavy punch. Um, so here's what I did. Let's have a look at this guy. Um, so I went ahead and put the fire control system AC into this guy. And I put, added an upper recoil plus the Ultra 20 that we've had sitting there for quite a while. We had a regular Inner Sphere Ultra 20, but now we have a Clan one. But it's got a four recoil, which will be reduced by two from here, one from here, and our pilot, I think, has got a recoil reduction of one. Uh, our fire is on, I think he's got at least one re recoil reduction. I had to drop in the prototype double heat sink kit, which gives a ton of weapon, minor weapon heat generation, um, and four prototype double heat sinks, and I, which I don't think we need all of those in there. Now that I think about it, what's the weapon heat at? Yeah, we're doing pretty good, because I, I upped the engine to a two, uh, 240 from a 200, so we got a lot uh, better speed on this guy. So I wonder if we go ahead because we can pull What's the heat sinking 4247 we've got a bit of extra space here now We've only got we got the tag barrage on here. Can we get a tag arrow on as well? No, we can't Couldn't get that lucky um, No matter what I do though, it's gonna up the heat. I wonder though if we just go Let's leave one of these in and take this 10 out and put in, where are you here? Weapon, LRM, uh, the clan LRM 15 instead. That'll give us a few more, less rounds of firing. It'll only be eight rounds of firing. But we can go that route. It's only what, one day? Yeah, beautiful. All right, so the Ultra 20, we've got two tons of regular Ultra 20 ammo at five shots each. Um, so that's, if we want to fire uh, the full out, it's going to be uh, five rounds of shooting, obviously. And then we've got some caseless ammo. Now, it's got a chance to jam with caseless in this thing, right? So it's mitigated by gunnery. Um, so it's a lot lower chance to hit. Um, but we have reduced uh, weapon damage. We've only got 10 shots. So I figure if we're going to fire two rounds um, in close, this will be the one that we're going to go ahead and use. But to start off with, we're going to just use a regular Ultra 20 ammo. Now, we've got to get close to be able to use this thing. So hopefully that'll work. Now, we've got uh, the sensor tracker still in here. Just to give, if we have to use the AC at long ranges, it'll give us better chance to hit until we get close. Now, we can't get to short range. We've got to stay around medium range or so uh, to get the most benefit out of this thing. But with the uh, fire control system with plus, um, plus two accuracy and then a plus one gunnery here, another plus one gunnery here, uh, we should be pretty good, I think. So yeah, that's this guy. Um, and the strange thing is, is the rocket packs that were here that I couldn't take off, when they got blown up, I was able to take them off. So I don't understand how that works, but whatever. Um, and then the Urban Mech, Urban Mesk, Mech Risk, we put the fire control system Predator on, um, rather than the AC one, so that it's just got better uh, chances to hit at longer ranges, which we've been using a fair bit. So I'm hoping this works out uh, really well. So that's on this guy, and I think that's it. That's all we did. I didn't do anything else to any of the mechs. All right, so the mission we're going to take today, we'll go to the command center here. I got a two and a half skull clan mission here, mech factory. It's 521 salvage, so hopefully we get a lot of uh, good mechs. Now all these ones up here, uh, this is a three, a three and a half skull cloud cobra recovery. Most likely we'll just get murdered if we take that one. Um, but we'll see how the two and a half goes. If it's really challenging, great, we'll end on that. If it's not, then we might try tamper-proof just to see how it goes. Now, frontal assault here, um, this is against, uh, where is it here? Who would it be against? Oberon Confederation, so that's not really an option. And then this one is against the Torians, so we're stuck with what we have. Um, smash and grab, it's recovery and polar against Torians. So we'll see how it goes. A two and a half against the clan might be good for us. We'll see how it is. So let's go ahead and no negotiate this sucker. We're gonna go full salvage, not that it matters. And we're gonna run the same lance again. Get the GB down here. Let's do this. Command 
All right, here we go. Polar region. Calm chatter from the factory. All right. Let's see what we're up against here. It's just us. Beautiful. Anything on this side? I don't know. They're probably straight ahead. Usually they're across here with a couple guys over here, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to make my way up to the left here. Sorry, right. Directionally dyslexic. Okay, let's get her up here. Now, we did get a, a few extra skill points on our pilots here. So I just put them on the most appropriate skills. Like, for instance, Dust Raker, we, we gave him... Uh, um, let's make sure we stay in the trees here. Uh, gave him piloting to get plus 10% maximum sprint. And um, I gave uh, Arc Light... Uh, tactics so it increases her chance to uh, um, hit with indirect fire, things like that. You, really interested to see what uh, what this Talos is going to do this 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 match. I really hope that Ultra Twenty pays off. Yeah, let's get into here. Yeah, let's get into here. Okay, Raker. How's it going? It's going to be a nightmare on this planet because it's so cold. Uh, Understood. Well, there we go. So we got Ice Ferret Prime, Pack Hunter, Kit Fox, Hunchback. Oh, uh, that's the double Ultra 20. That's the double Ultra 20 back. All right, firing on this guy. All right, one hit, beautiful. We got to close on that guy fast, so let's get over here. I've only got dead fire ammo on the LRM, so uh, I got to get in close. Yeah, it was it was weird to strip that that mech that the uh, the two rocket packs, which I haven't been able to pull off at all on that mech. I guess when they got destroyed, I guess when you replace the uh, the torso, they just they come off. I don't know if that's a bug or what that is. Wish I'd known that earlier. Uh, we need the AMS in here, so let's get in the center. Now they gotta have one more guy. There he is. Another Kit Fox. Okay. Uh, let's fire on this guy. Yeah, I might as well use the tag. Here it comes. Good chance to hit. Nice. I'm out of LRM. That's all right. Had a good chance to hit and to take it. Because we might not get it once they close with us. Although I really hope this Ultra 20 can shred this hunchback real fast. Let's keep you out of the uh, sight of that hunchback, please. Wait, where's the blue line is here? Can't be in the trees for that. All right, that's fine. Let's get over here. Let's see what that's like at this long range here. Oh, 94, man. Fire control system predator. Here it comes. Yeah, man. You won't be able to... Oh, you can get a side shot from here, though. Let's do that. Going full throttle. We just lost a pack hunter over... Oh, no, we didn't. Here he is. All right. 
Just both of these, eh? That's fine. Fire. Nah, not quite enough. Not quite enough. I was hoping to make them unstable, but whatever. Can't have everything. Okay, he's moving in. I wonder if they're Ultra 10s instead of Ultra 20s. Uh, do we just gang up on this guy, or do we... Probably. If he's going to be that slow, let's gang up on him. We've got to burrow through his side, though. It's really the only way to take these guys down, is just to burrow through the side real fast. Here it comes. Well, for us, if you don't have accuracy, burrow through the enemy's side fast. It's the best way to do it. That's what I find, anyway. So, tomorrow evening uh, will be Monday. Um, we'll be starting the Osmium campaign. Um, it's It will be a precursor to the proper campaign. Ooh. Once, like I said, once they get the uh, vehicles, the vehicles in the uh, lances up and running, then um, we'll be updating the campaign to that. There goes his leg. Ooh, and his torso. Yeah, it was an Ultra 20. Okay, beautiful. Main threat is hopefully neutralized this turn. Good crunchy damage. This guy's going to take the AC-20s, I think. A pair of AC-20 rounds if we get a good shot on him. I really hope we do. So we got two guys on the left for fire suppression, and then we got three here on the right for attack and destroy. All right. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna do a new coin. I'm gonna coin a new phrase here. We're gonna AD these guys. I'm gonna AD this guy here. It comes. Oh wait, let's. Uh, can we go to SRM Deadfire at this range? We can't. We can go SRM though. We'll just do that. That's better damage. Here it comes. Okay, one. One of the big ones hit. Nice. <laughs> I really hope we have someone like you in the next series. That laugh is amazing. Oh, man. Okay, Kit Fox moving into range. Oof. But he's got an Ultra 10? I hear you. Maybe he's got an Ultra 10. Okay, it's AD that guy. See if we can get this guy off the board. Rotary's jammed. That's fine. Tell me what to shoot. Yeah, man. There's more where that came from. It will be next turn when that rack's back. Do I want to go after the... Uh, I think we should kill this hunchback. Getting to a point where I don't think I'm going to hit my own guy. How much has he got left in the center? That's a lot. Ultra 20. Uh, use caseless? It might jam. There we go. Standard. Leave the barrage off or we'll be hitting our own guy. Let's go for the CT, see if we can core him. I'm going to Warlord this too. Just because I want to make sure we kill this guy. So here it comes. There it is. Okay, the main threat's gone. Doesn't mean these guys aren't threat though. This guy's got a ult. This guy's got an ultra. Pack Hunter's got a PPC. Kit Fox, I, I don't know, he's 
or not the Kid Fox, the Ice Ferret is doing whatever. This guy is like, that's the D. Pair of LRMs. This guy's got an Ultra 10. Micros. He's down to his, oh, he's still got his PPC. Nice that it's a cool planet. We're going to multi-target. And we're going to put one MML on A and the others on B, I think. That first one should kill this guy, possibly. Is it close enough for dead fire? It is. Let's switch them both to dead fire. Roger. That should do it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, man. Wow, nice shooting. We're tearing these guys a new one. Fire first, ask questions later. Uh, yeah. Let's open them up a little bit. <laughs> this just in, critical hit. Now, where have you been damaged? That side, eh? Let's get over here and attack this side. I don't know if that's where his AC is, but his torso is damaged on that side, so we'll take advantage of it. No, AC's on the other side. Waiting on you, Commander. Rotary's back. Let's just fire straight up on this guy. I'm going to use everything. There's the knockdown. Beautiful. Yeah, this is really the field that like the like my playstyle works the best in wide open areas where I can move around, see the enemy from pretty much anywhere. This kind of plays to my advantage. That's a lot of misses. I think we're going to move in for a kill on that pack hunter. That's pretty darn good. Uh, yeah. We'll have the barrage back next turn, so let's just use it on this guy. I hope we get the kill. Here it comes. Oh, man. See ya. Destroy, he's obliterated. I don't see a mech there. I see a freaking crater is what I see. Alright, let's see what this guy does over here. You <laughs> got two guys left. Kit Fox, so it looks like we might be doing another one. We'll see it. We might get reinforcements on this. I mean, it's only two and a half skulls, so maybe we won't. Hopefully we take very minimal damage on this. We can reload, refit, and then just quickly drop in again. Order. Yeah, man. Shred him. See ya. Boy, is he still going? Eliminated. Nope. He is a smudge. He's a smudge. Yeah, baby. Nice position. That guy better move. You better move. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, it's not totally going to help you at all, but you better move. All right, here it comes. Thank you. Thank you very much. On it. You. 
Um, yeah, we can't jump very far. That plus 10% sprint doesn't add much. Maybe one hex at the most. But every hex counts. The Talos moves a hell of a lot faster. Just like 40 ton more engine. It added a lot of weight though. It was like three and a half, four tons or something. Come on, Herbie. The reason why I'm not bothering firing is because this cold planet um, it's just going to sap all our heat anyway. There's no point. Once we get close to the base though I'll fire because it looks like we're going to have reinforcements. I hear ya. But I said that last time too and never happened. Full on sprint, please. Yep. Okay, um, put you here. Good to go. As far as you can go, can you get in there? You can't. Um, See, the thing is, I think they come from this direction. So let's get over here. Roger. And then we'll target right here. Them up. Get a little bit of heat. It's gone. And it's gone. Ah, and our friggin' PPC's damaged. God damn it. See, reason why I hate using unreliable shit, man. Okay, that'll do it. And then let's get GV up here as fast as you can go on this side, please. Okay, see what we got. So there should be another Lance. Oh, it's jammed. Okay. Well. Let's go here. I mean, a fire. Okay, let's get into here. Rotate back this way. Confirm. I'm just going to brace here with him. Stabilizing. And witness, I'm going to back up below the hill here. Just because he's a juicy target, let's hope they don't shoot for him. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Yeah, baby! Give me somebody good. Five on five. Where are you bastards? Oh, there's one. Pack hunter. Meh. They should all move before me. Whoop. Nova. Okay. Ow. Freaking Goss rifle. Good thing I was braced. 836 armor, not that bad. Yeah, I can't wait for that vehicle mod to get into play. It's going to be awesome. The stuff that that, that that Russian guy is working on, man. Oh, so cool. Like I said, being able to shift which weapons fire in which order. What a wonderful idea. Oh, Mad Dog. Nice! Finally getting some competition here. I think we're going to end it with this, this episode. We're going to find out what the last two mechs are here. Armor breached. Or we'll end the series with this uh, this particular video. Or combat, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying.
Oh, we got a vehicle. What's this guy? Sventovit? No, Sevier, SRM2. So not a bad Lance. And a Crusader. Cool. 65 tons. Yeah, I was the guy that didn't move, too. Good thing I got the Ultra 20 in the right arm. Uh, let's get some Vigilance going. Because <laughs> I think we need that. Uh, let's get into here. Get the barrage up. Uh, that's actually pretty good on this guy. We're going to Warlord this though. Fire on this guy. I don't know if we hit him with either of those. What's up, huh? You're horribly out of position, dude. Let's get over here. Let's fire on this guy. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, not that much worse. So, I mean, it's a little better on this guy. That other guy's overheating though, so let's just fire on this guy. Okay, one hit. Impaired sensors, arc light. Can you get a shot at that guy? You can. Let's not keep our side turned to them though. Let's fire on this guy. Ooh. Wanna try and overheat this guy? He's taking a lot of damage in the leg there. How much? A fair bit. We must have hit him with the AC in the leg. I think we got one hit on him with the AC. Yeah. Um, let's go to the SRM Infernos for now. Okay, push him over the heat limit. Nice. Oh, yeah. Unsteady. Beautiful. On you, Commander. Let's rack him up, buddy. Can you actually get a shot on him? Can. Not a side shot though, like I was hoping. You can if you move into here. Let's do that. Alright, full rotary on this guy. I want him down. Okay, there goes his arm. Goss rifle's gone. Beautiful. Knocked down. Nice. So I think he's effectively out of the battle. Get into here. Tag arrow. AMS is back up and ready to go. We're going to fire at the Crusader. Well, maybe not. Hmm. That's good chances on that guy. So let's do a multi-target. We're going to shoot at the guy on the ground and the vehicle. The vehicle take the LBX, the MRM, and the tag, and everything else X pulses are going the guy on the ground. Got it, Commander. Okay, two good hits. Ooh, head hit. Beautiful. Okay, Zephyr took some good damage. Um shoot. Why can't I not see the Crusader? This might be a bad move. Sixty-nine percent though. Let's get into here. Uh, I'm going to Vigilance again just so that I get the initiative next round hopefully. Let's fire on this guy. Gonna fire both. Oh yeah, man. Two hits. We're almost out of regular ammo. We'll be in the caseless after that. But that's fine. We'll still have five more turns of firing. With caseless. Even though it's reduced in chance for jam. We might just switch to one shot. Okay, he's not gonna do anything. 
we don't have the full capability, but we're going to move into here. And let's clobber this guy, because he didn't move. Firing. Okay, that puts us in a good chance to... Uh, our TSM should be on now. Ooh, ow. Where'd you hit? Back up my armor, Commander. Yeah, man, but where'd he hit you? Arm? Yeah. That's where the large improved heavy is. Damn it. Can't lose that thing. Well, yep. not that it matters, but, you know. In general, you don't want to lose that thing. Yeah, well. Let's answer this guy. Um, although that's pretty good, too. That's even better. But that Crusader, though, he's overheating. God damn it, so many good chances to hit everything else but the guy I want to shoot at. Okay, let's go A, let's go B, let's go C, these guys will go to C, this guy will go to B, that guy will go to A, and hopefully we get some spillover onto the guy on the ground. Copy that. Yeah, we did. All right, a little bit of damage on that guy. Oh, and two more hits. Beautiful shooting. Wow. I'm here. Let's get that AMS up here because, you know, we're going to need that. But you need to be targeting the... Uh, you're in a bad spot, man. You need to really be targeting that Crusader. Such a lousy chance to hit. Let's just try and shred this guy up a bit. Here it comes. Okay, AC hit looked like. A lot of missiles hit. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Okay, you're going to be a fire maneuver here. Really good chances to answer that guy, but I think we're going to shoot this guy up. Okay, good shooting. Good job, buddy. Let's see what they do here. That Crusader, the Crusader really is the big threat here. He's still got full armor, too. What's he rocking, this thing? Uh, he's, like, overheating, too. Four missile, two ballistic, two energy. Beautiful. Okay, Nova. Got one energy left. Still dangerous if he gets a head hit. Pulse laser. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just fire on this guy, see if we can kill him. Nope, still taking a ton of damage, that guy. Ah, uh, crap. Let's just back up a little bit. Gotta move. Yeah, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. If I can't get to this, this Crusader, this guy's going to die this turn. If I can't get to the Crusader, I might as well kill you. Oh, I can get to the Crusader from here. Look 
Just fuck it. Here it comes. Screw you, buddy. Last two good rounds. Ooh, two hits. AC depleted. depleted. That was both in the leg. Good thing he was braced or he'd be in big trouble. Oh, I can get to this guy. What do you know? Screw you! Look at this guy. He's like baking. Here it comes. Yeah, man. What is it with you and your leg hits, dude? And he's down. What do you need? All right, girl. Let's uh do a couple shots here. You and you. B gets the Hydra. Let's enjoy it. Oh yeah, shoot the guy where he's got full armor. Beautiful idea. Still going. Badass. Yeah, that guy's a badass. Just back it up a bit. Back it up. Who do we got left? We got witness left, don't we? 16? I'm coming for you. This is not the best place to stand, but I'm going to do it anyway, because you know that's how I do. And we're going to do a multiple target here. Going to shoot this guy. Going to shoot this guy. B's taking the heavy. And yep. Right, Commander. There's another knockdown. Ooh, penetrated. Beautiful. These guys are still going. They're all still going. Look at this. Look at the launchers on this thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the earliest mechs, they, all, they were the coolest looking ones. I find the ones that are like more streamlined now, they do look cool, but there's just something about these old style mechs, the blockiness to them that just, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm like nostalgic or whatever. That's probably it. Uh, yeah, let's not, um, let's not uh, go after that crusader and shoot our own guy in the back. That would be bad. Let's just shoot this guy. Got some caseless. We might as well use them both. I'm probably jammed, but whatever. Enemy nope. Destroyed. Beautiful. What's up, boss? Pack hunter's pissing me off. Can you finish him up for me, Bubba? Bubba? He's the only guy with full armor still. Sorry, he had full armor. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Here's the first casualty, guys. First casualty. Oh, the Nova's gone too. Second casualty then. All right, let's move you into here. I'm walking here. Um, I'm gonna do a multi on this one. I'm gonna shoot this guy, and I'm gonna shoot this guy. Now A will take the incendiary, and B will take the rest of everything. Sorry. A will take the incendiary, and B will take the rest of everything. <laughs> Make sure we get that right. Enjoy it. Look at that. Let's clean it up and go home, guys. Oh, I like that shot. Three left, all heavily damaged. We took a bit of damage on this, too. I mean, I, I lost my arm again, my well, side. The uh, urban mech almost lost its arm. Good to go. All right. Uh, we don't have the ability for multi-target. Oh, because the rotary's jammed. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Sixty percent, huh? Ninety-four on that guy. Ninety-eight on this guy. And Zayanara. Nope. Just keep shooting them in places we haven't shot them before, because that's good. 
It's really helpful. Just means you might get another turn of firing. That's all it means. This would have been interesting with four mechs. If we didn't have the urban mech here, it would have been really interesting. Maybe I should have kept it with four, but I figured we have the ability to use five, so why not? All right, Arclight. Uh, this will be a multi-target, though. And those go to A. And... Fuck it. Might as well kill them with Hydra. Did I not change that over? I didn't... Did that go... Ah, fuck. Sure. Oh. I meant to shoot this guy with Hydra. I'm an idiot. Uh Look at you, toasty old, toasty and warm. Should probably try and see how long I can keep this guy burnt. Receiving you. Heading out. Let's uh, do this. All right, let's see if we can end this with a double kill. See if we can end this with a double kill. If Arclight gets this double kill, it's going to be awesome. But let's see. Double Hydra. Here it comes. Here we go. Okay, there's one. There's two. There you go. There's a good way to end the series. Arclight rules. Just land right on him. Beautiful. <laughs> there it is, folks. There's the end of our... Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to say, if, the, if for whatever reason Osmium doesn't work, I'm going to save and back up this series. So if something happens and we got to come back to it, we can definitely do that. Now, I'm going to grab, uh, you know, these Kit Fox pieces are worth like a fair bit. I was actually shocked. I'm going to grab the Mad Dog Prime part though, uh, Crusader part. And I'll grab the Nova part, because I know these three will sell really well if we absolutely have to uh, come back to this series. Although I'm not sure we're going to need to. I'll grab this, because we might use that as well. Ooh, Ultra 20. We still have our Ultra 20. We did lose our LRM 15, so that's good. We don't have any dead fire ammo, though. Hmm... Yeah, let's just see down here real quick. LRM ammo, half ton, nah, well. Oh, let's grab that too. Okay. Alright, so we got a couple more mech parts. Yeah, we got the Ultra 20 Clan as backup, beautiful, an A-Pod, okay. Jump jets, slower Omni Power Arms, some of the Patrick materials are great because we can definitely use those. Alright, okay. No big deal. Alright, so as I was saying, if we do come back to this series, uh, I'll have it saved so we can pick up where we left off. Um, we should have enough C-bills in the bank to manage all this stuff and get everything back on time and do some, uh, some more uh, uh, harder missions and stuff. But for now, I'm going to end this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, the next series will be Osmium. Um, and it will be picking up the day after you see this one. Um, this has been recorded on a Friday night, so you'll be seeing this on Sunday. And then, uh, so I, it's going to give me a couple of days just to play around with Osmium a bit, just so I can see if there's anything different about the starting. Um, give me some time to record a couple of episodes too. Uh, I do have an idea what I want to do with this, with this, uh, um, the first Osmium series. Um, I kind of want to have it lead a little bit into my next series, um, but I'm not really sure how that's going to how it's going to play out because this series will most likely die when this, the the following one starts up. So I'll have to see how it goes. All right, but hopefully you'll get a good idea of what Osmium is like before we start playing our main campaign. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to end the series here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and stick around for the next series in Osmium. Until next time, we'll see you later.